Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with SurvivalistSports.com. We, today we are taking a look at the Thrunite 2A Charger, or the Thrunite R Charger 2A. We, have, we did a review of the Thrunite Archer, the single AA version, and this is the dual, or the two AA version. Yeah, that's kind of cute looking. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's open this up. All right, what comes in the package? Let's see here, we've got extra in, uh, button. Usually come with extra O-rings and a lanyard. But I usually, leave, uh, a lot of these flashlights, not just through night, I'll usually leave that lanyard off and use a piece of trot line string or something. All right, so let's take a look at the manual. How many uh, brightness settings and stuff does this have? All right. High of 500 lumens for 90 minutes. Hang on, that's not the English. Where's English at? Techno parameters, parameters. All right, that's good enough. High, 500 lumens, 96 minutes. Medium, 75 lumens, 11 hours. Low of 17 lumens four days firefly 28 days at 0.2 lumens strobe 500 lumens at 140 minutes for getting around the house you're doing stuff in your backpack i mean that's great four days and 28 days at 0.2 lumens that's all right that is all right so what else do we have here uh, waterproof, two meters, impact resistant, one meter, three feet, uh, distance 100, but we're going to be taking it outside tonight and take a look at the beam. All right, let's take a look at the flashlight. It's got your nice, sturdy belt clip. All right. Nice, solid threads, not loose like that. All right, guys, so let's get on with the test. What do you say? All right, still working. That's two nails, two 12-penny nails driven through a pressure treated 2x4. And it's still working. All right, let's move on to the next test. Now for the drop test. Thrunite says this is rated at 3 foot. We're going to go 4 feet, guys. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. All righty, now let's take it to the creek test. Oh man, you see how scored that is up from the hammer and the nails? All right, it's still working. All brightness settings work. Let's go throw it in the creek. My first complaint so far is that the lanyard holes are very small. That I could not fit the 550, not 550 cord, the green uh, 300 pound trot line string. Cannot fit it through there. So I'm going to have to go with a white string. I just tied this on there. Just to be able to, so I don't lose them in the creek. Real world setting. You're going to throw it in the creek. Drop it off in a four wheeler or something. Go into the creek. Drop it while walking across the creek or something. And it's going to stay there for a couple hours. Alright guys. Let's go do something else. 
I'm, or I'm going to go do something else, and we'll check on this flashlight in a couple hours, maybe two or three hours. Flashlight's been out here for, I think, about two and a half hours. Two hours. Yeah, about two hours or so. A little over two hours. Anyway, let's get this thing pulled in. Sank down in the sand. Come on, fella. Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, it's just sunk down in the sand. There it is. All right, let's get it up here and take a look at it. Right, fresh out of the water. Take my shirt. I'm going to dry it off a little bit. I don't want any water to get inside of it. All right, guys. What I see is what you see. Looking for any water. Okay, good. Excellent. Nothing, nothing down inside of there. No water inside behind the lens. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's see if it works. There's no water in it, so it should. Oh, yeah, it works. All right, let's move on to our next test. Well, everybody, if y'all see the road, you know what time it is. We are going to bring the tractor out. We're going to run over this little thing. Now, I am going to pull a couple of punches. I am going to pull a punch. In that, the, um, I'm not going to set it up on a high rock like that. Because of the diameter of the flashlight, there's just not a lot of mass there. So, I'm just going to lay it flat. Get it over here where we can get a good hit on it. Something like that. Because that's already the bezels holding it up off the off the ground. We're gonna turn the switch up where it's not on the ground. We're gonna run it over. We're bringing in a Massey Ferguson 231 tractor. Well that was in the shadow. I'm gonna turn this around where we can see it. Oh yeah, I just pushed that right into the ground. That is nice. Look at that. That is cute. Yes, sir. One more time, guys. This time we're putting that bizzle on a rock. Just a little small rock right there. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's see. All right, everything's fine. Let's move on to the next test. The next test is going to be a new one that, uh, that I've thought about for a long time. And what it simulates, it's based on a real-life experience, is that several years ago, my sons and I, or my kids and I, I've got a daughter, my kids and I were up at the deer camp, messing around, doing some stuff. My son took his flashlight, laid it on the bumper of my truck. Forgot about it. Went off, did something else. Anyway, I said, hey guys, let's go to the store and get a Coke or something, a bag of chips or something. They're like, all right, let's go. So we went to the store, got back, and I asked him, I said, hey, it's starting to get a little dark. I said, where's y'all's flashlight at? Or get your flashlight, it's going to be dark here in a little while, so we don't have to go looking for it. And my son went, oh no, the last place I had the flashlight, I'd set it on the bumper of the truck. Okay, and so we slowly drove back to the store. And we found a flashlight, not this one, not this one. We found a flashlight sat laying on the side of the road. It fallen off the truck, hit the ground, do, 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 did its thing, bouncing all down the road. And I picked it up and the flashlight no longer worked. So the next test is to simulate, instead of dragging the flashlight behind the truck, we're going to simulate it falling out of the truck while going down the road. Or in the case of my son, it fell off the bumper as I was going down the road.
Joe and Ellis just have to ride, huh, don't you, Ellis? Just have to ride and bark, don't you? Oh, Buster. <laughs> Ellis and Zoe just love to run, ride in the truck. They just, Ellis loves to ride and bark. And there's Dudley and Buster. All right, guys. Let's check this out. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Worked just fine. Okay. All right. Looks good to me. Let's go home. Now let's do some nighttime pictures. We're going to... This camera does not take very good night, uh, nighttime video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some pictures. I'm going to do some video. We're going to talk. That's the lowest setting. We're going to crank this puppy up all the way. All right, so I'm gonna now take turn the video off and take some pictures. It keeps going down. I'm using some cheap batteries in here. Anyway, theme is very focused, very very well defined. I'm using some rather cheap batteries. I guess I need to go eat some lithiums. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's got the juice to uh, stay on bright for very long. All right, Samantha, come on. Guys, I've got some brand new lithium batteries in the flashlight. So let's give this another try. We're out here in the field. We're going to go from... Let's see. Some, all right, so here we go. And also, I was looking at the specs. It goes from 500 lumens, claimed 500 lumens, down to 75 lumens. That'd be 75, and that would be 500 for a flashlight with AA batteries. We're using two AA batteries. Why? I, don't, I do not understand what niche this flashlight is trying to fill. Let me take some pictures of that right there. In my personal opinion, 500 lumens is tactical flashlight territory. If you have a need for 500 lumens, I don't think you should be using AA batteries. And, uh, that that should be more like I don't know something like the Archer, through not Archer or the A Tactical A1, A Tactical A1S, something like that with a much bigger battery than just two AA batteries. The little brother of the 2A, the Archer 1A, which I absolutely love, says it works. It goes up to 200 lumens, which I feel maybe pushing a little bit for a single AA battery. And it's supposed to be like 113 minutes or so at 200 lumens with a AA battery, depending on the size of the AA. So instead of going to 500 lumens, why not go 200 lumens and double the run time? And, um, instead of 113 minutes, go for 220 minutes at 200 lumens. Something like that. I mean, this would be an excellent, excellent camping, backpacking, hiking flashlight truck light. It's lightweight, portable, two AA batteries, but I just do not see a need for something that runs 500 lumens off of two AA batteries. I mean, to me, for what the flashlight is, for what I feel the flashlight is intended for, 75 lumens, just a little bit brighter. Say double it, 150 lumens. 150 lumens, two AA batteries, perfect camping hiking, backpacking, truck light, car light. Put it in a glove box, put two lithium batteries in it, and call it a day. Well, guys and gals, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I like the light. I mean, it's durable. I'm just not sure what niche it's trying to fill. I mean, is this trying to be a tactical light with 500 lumens? Or is it trying to be a work light with only 75 lumens? Or a truck light, camping light, backpacking, something like that. 
All right, guys and gals, God bless, and I will talk to you later.